Hey guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. The Shape Builder tool is one of my newest favorite tools. Uh, it's completely changed the way that I think about illustrating in Adobe Illustrator, and this tutorial is all about using it and showing you how to add and subtract shapes together. So I have just a brand new document open, and what I need first are some shapes of any sort. So I'm gonna just create some circles out here. The fill on that is going to be, how about we use like a blue-ish color? and we'll just draw some circles out here. So these shapes, and it looks like there's a stroke on them. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll keep that stroke on them. So these shapes here, once they intersect with each other, that's when the Shape Builder tool really becomes powerful. Uh, to use it, I have to select all my shapes, and then I click on the Shape Builder tool. The shortcut key for that is Shift-M, and I use that shortcut all the time, so I'd recommend uh, learning it and using it. Uh, what happens is, on my cursor icon there's a plus on that and then if I hold alt or option it turns to a minus what the plus does is it creates a new shape or it adds shapes together and the minus will subtract out a shape or subtract out multiple shapes so as you see me roll over or hover over these different shapes where they intersect the shape builder tool can actually see the different shapes that those two intersecting shapes create so for instance if I wanted to subtract out that center shape I can hold Alt or Option and just click on it, and it will minus out that shape. It's that easy. If I undo that and I actually want to subtract the outside shapes, I can just click and drag to draw through all of the shapes I want to subtract. And remember, I'm holding Alt or Option to do that. And when I let go, I'm left with that center shape. If I want to add these shapes together, I could do the same thing. I could just click and draw through them without holding uh, any modifier keys and that's going to add those shapes together and you can see very quickly if I just add a rectangle shape here I can cut off the bottom section by selecting all shift M and holding alt or option to subtract out all these bottom shapes and before you know it we have a cloud icon it's really, really a great tool, and it's changed the way I think. I think more about negative space now. So for instance, if I wanted to create a shield icon, I can just create a couple of circles out here. In fact, I'll just duplicate this option to do that, or Alt and click and drag. And I can just drag these over the top of each other, create a third shape, and maybe drag it down here. And then if I select all of them, you'll see we're almost getting this little shield icon in the center of that. So if I go over and select my Shape Builder tool, subtract out by holding Alt or Option all of the outside shapes, I'm left with a little shield icon. And you can create little icons and shapes that quickly with the Shape Builder tool. That's what I love about it, and I think you guys should really learn it and use it. It's changed the way that I think about illustrating in Illustrator, and it's a great one to learn. If you like this tutorial, make sure you like this video. If you learned anything, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.